the man who fired people on reality TV. And now Donald Trump is setting up a reality TV show to make sure that he won't be fired from the White House by the American people this November. Each episode during the Republican National Convention features Donald Trump and members of his family. It's all called Honoring the Great American Story. Land of heroes, land of greatness. Join us over the next four nights as we write the next chapter of our journey and share our vision as the greatest country with the greatest citizens that attain the greatest achievements. So with each day having a theme and nightly surprises, the Donald is looking to trump Joe Biden's performance with the Democrats' convention. But over the last week, the Democrats held the darkest and angriest and gloomiest convention in American history. It will be the most boring, repetitive, dull, mean-spirited convention in history. And of course, we will get a heavy dose of hatred and rage and cult-like madness, psychosis, hysteria against all things Donald Trump. This year's convention of the Republican Party has been dubbed the People's Convention. And the people have chosen for speakers at their convention on the opening night the couple who pointed their guns at Black Lives Matter protesters as they walked outside their mansion. Now that first taste of media spotlight has gotten this couple felony charges. Donald Trump calls it a disgrace, and the couple says they're thirsty for more. At this moment in history, if you stand up for yourself and for the values our country was founded on, the mob, spurred on by their allies in the media, will try to destroy you. President Trump will defend the God-given right of every American to protect their homes and their families. The themes are coming thick and fast. Tuesday is the land of opportunity. Wednesday is the land of heroes. And Thursday is the land of greatness. Yes, you heard that right. That's the night when Donald Trump will be accepting the nomination of the Republican Party at the White House, surrounded by supporters. Now, many people are lapping it up, but not all of them for the same details. For example, CNN says that it's pouring over the details and that it'll cut away from the reality TV show if it strays too far from reality. And the television networks are going to have interesting choices to make, interesting decisions to make about whether to cut away if there's this stream of disinformation happening live. Seeing as they did not do this at the Democratic National Convention, outrage about CNN's announcement is certainly not hard to find on the internet. Three episodes of this reality TV show convention are left. No doubt there'll be moments of pure cringe, drama, and high comedy. But Republicans are really hoping that this is a reality TV show that won't prove to be a turnoff.